This video is all about proving power series for sine functions. How this is being derived, how sine x is equal to the summation of these items. Now, but before we start this video, I want to use this opportunity to appreciate my subscribers, to appreciate old and new subscribers. And I also want to use this medium to also tell my viewers to subscribe like comment and share this video thank you now let's start let's begin we want to prove that sine x is equal to this now, now I, mean, I normally use red white so now let's say now i will make an assumption i will make an assumption I assume a certain thing. So I assume the function of x is equal to let's say a plus b x plus c x square plus d s q plus e x to power four plus f to four five plus da 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 up to infinity so we assume that this is equal to this now let's now this is for all x element of real numbers for x element of real numbers no imaginary number here so now if we differentiate if we now say substitute x equal to zero into this equation into equation let me call this equation one substituting x equal to zero into equation one you now have f of zero which is equal to a because the whole of this from b x down to the end will be zero so we'll now have our a to be this now let's integrate equation one In, sorry let's differentiate equation one if we differentiate equation one we have f prime x is equal to this will be zero you now have b plus two cx plus 3 dx to the power 2 plus 4 dx to the power 3 plus 5 f x to the power 4 plus that, 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 that. So now if you if you substitute x equal to 0 in this second equation, you have f prime of x is equal to v sorry this is f0 because here it will be 0 because x equal to 0 so here it should be 0 now we have gotten v now let's also in, in differentiate further if you differentiate you have in differentiate further you have this equal to this will be zero is a constant now plus two c plus three times two d x plus four times three e x square plus five times four let me just say dots because there is an x x in the equation so five the dot is times means times five times four f x to the power three plus that that that, that. this is equation three now substituting x equal to zero you have have f 
f of zero equal to two c because the whole of this you put zero here if the whole of this term will be zero so we now have this that means that means two c is equal to f of zero so if you divide all through by two we have c equal to f of x zero divided by two and this two is the same thing as saying f of x zero divided by two times one which is f of x zero two factorial now let me see is equal to f of two factorial then now let's look at it again let's differentiate further so f of sorry x will be equal to this will be zero you have three times two times one d plus four times three times two e x plus five times four times three times three f of x square plus da da da, da plus but now if you substitute x equal to zero into this equation let's say equation this equation four you have f of zero equal to the whole of this this is x the whole of this will be zero from here will be zero then the remaining only this you have three times two times one d meaning f of zero is equal to three times two times three times two times one d so we have three times two times one d equal to f so you divide all through by this three for it to three times two times one divide both side by each this will cancel out this you have d equal to all over three times two times one is three factorial So it's three factorial. So we have gotten this to be of all of us zero factorial. So we have gotten d two. Now let's if we integrate further. Sorry, if we differentiate further, this is x. If we differentiate, if we could differentiate equation four further, we have this this will be zero we're not left with equal to four times three times two uh, times one e e let me see e plus five times four times three times two f x plus da, 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 da. so if you now say x is equal to zero you now have f equal to remaining this this all of this will be zero from here starting from here will be zero so it's the winning things which is four times three times two times one which is the same thing as four 
factoria E. So that means 4 factorial E is equal to f of 4, 0. So now if you divide all through by 4 factorial, the factorial will cancel out. You now isolate E to be. You now isolate E to be to be this all over 4 factorial. Now if you check. The whole thing is like it is consistent somehow. So, but let's finish it off. This is the last stage. This is for f. Now, if you in, if you differentiate further, let's say sorry x. You differentiate with respect to x. You differentiate equation look, equation five further. You now have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 f plus da 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 da. Now, we substitute x to be equal to 0. You have f 0 equal to this will not be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 f which is the same thing as the whole of this is the same thing as 5 factorial f so if we then that means we have 5 factorial times f is equal to equal to this so if you divide all through by 5 factorial Then we have f to be equal to to be equal to this all over five factorial. Now substituting the values of a, b, c, d, and f into this into equation one. Now we now have f of x equal to f of 0 which is a which is a here okay look, let me say before we begin let's just let me delete this f of x is equal to a plus bx plus cx square plus ds cube plus ex raised to power 4 plus f x raised to power 5 plus da 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 plus 2. So f of x now will not be substituting the value of a. a is f of 0 plus the value of b which is x f of 0 plus for c the value of c is x square now f of uh, 2 prime f of m um, 2 from f of 0 divided by 2 factorial plus s cube f of 3 prime divided by 3 factorial plus x of 4 f for all over 4 factorial plus x5 f5 all over 5 factorial. Having done this, having expressed f of x, a function to be this. Now, let's assume f of x is equal to sine function. 
Now, if you now look f of f of zero, if sine zero is equal to zero. Now let's differentiate sine. We have cos x. Now So when x is equal to 0, if you put 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. So let's also, let's differentiate second derivative of x, of, of, of f of x, second derivative, zero, yeah, second derivative of f of x. You now have minus sine x. Now that means second derivative at x equal to zero will be zero. Now let's also do third derivative of x will now be minus cos x. So third derivative when x is equal to zero will be minus one. So uh, for fourth derivative of x, fourth derivative of x will not be equal to sine x. So f of four, fourth derivative when x is equal to zero will not be same. F of Five derivative, the fifth derivative will be cos x. So f of fifth derivative when x is equal to zero is equal to one. So we can just continue. Now let's look at it now. Say we assume that the sine function f of x is sine function. So we now put sine x will not be equal to a is 0 b which is this is 1 so now we have 0 plus x then f of f of second Second derivative of f of zero is what? The second derivative, which is this, is zero. Meaning this does not exist. This value does not exist. So now the next one, let's go to the next one. Third derivative is uh, minus one. So we now add. We now add. Let's see. So the next one is minus okay let me just put zero plus zero minus s cube over three factorial over three factorial the fourth one the fourth derivative is zero when x is equal to zero is zero so that means this one is out then the fifth derivative is plus one so plus five to the power x all over five factorial plus that 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 that, 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 that. so that means sine x is equal to x minus x to the power three divided by three factorial plus x to the power of 5 all over 5 factorial plus that, 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 plus now when you look when you look at it now you see that the n term now let's say this is at position one at position one let's this is one three to the power one all over one factorial so if you look at it critically, one factorial is one, one raised to the power one is x, so it's just the same thing. 
Now, having gotten this, so now we have gotten that sign x is equal to x raised to power 1 all over 1 factorial minus x raised to power 3 all over 3 factorial plus x raised to power 5 all over 5 factorial plus dot 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 plus. Now let's write the the n term. So for us to write the n term, now we have here is from this position here is one. Sorry, here is positive, here is negative, here is positive. So it will be going that way. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So, so in that case, let's say n starts from zero. So here is zero, one, two, three, and so forth. So now, so that means this is position zero, one, two, and it continues. So now, having stated, what having stated is that way. Now let's say so since n is equal to zero. Now let's look. Let's use what we call the arithmetic um, progression formula. So you have the first term. The let's say the n term is equal to the first term plus n minus one. The, the differential so now when you look at one this is one three five it one three five let's, okay, let's write it here so the first term is one three five and continue so that means this next one should be seven now if you see the difference between this because when you look at it it, it is not geometric progression it is what we call arithm um, arithmetic progression so you have from one here one to three is two. The difference is two. The difference from five to three is two. So that is why this the next one should be seven. Now, but this formula, this formula n starts with n starts with the, the, the starting the first term it always is n equal to one. Now, but when you check now. What we, we are using, we are using the first one to be n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for us to make, for this, for this kind of, um, for this kind of numbering, to fit into this kind of numbering, what we are going to do is, that means the, 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 the numbering system here should be n plus 1. So if you say n plus 1, that means here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meaning that we are not going to, what we are going to impute into this formula is n plus 1. We are not going to impute n here. So that it will just mean the same thing. To mean the same. So now, Imputing n plus 1 into this equation. So now we now have the, the n term. If you put n equal to, then now the first term here now is 1, which is 1 here. From here, this is 1. So this is 1. So the first term is 1 plus, we now say, we now use n plus 1. Say n plus 1 minus 1. The difference, the difference, which is 3 minus 1, or 5 minus 3, or 7 minus 5. So 5 minus 3 will give you 2. 3 minus 1 will give you 2. So the difference is 2. The common difference is 2. So now we now have 1 plus n plus 1 minus 1 will give you n times 2. So this will give you 2n plus 1. So this is the the n term. Now when you look now, 
five, here is five, here is five, here is three, here is three, here is one, here is one. That means the n term will be x to the power this value, which is two n plus one divided by two n plus one factorial plus one factorial. Then here we have we have now you see the n is starting at zero one two three four so at the first part as the first point which is zero you have positive uh, sign at the second one which is n equal to one you have minus one so and you know that means then the second one you have plus and you know that minus one if you multiply it, if you multiply it, since when you look at it, since when, since the at it, at the even positions, you have here is zero, here is one, here is two, at this point is two. So at the even positions, it is positive. Why at the odd positions it is negative which is it is negative here one meaning that if you use n this is n which is we start as zero so as zero is zero is an even it's like an is is time to be an even uh, because two two can divide zero two divide zero is zero so zero is time to be an even number so zero to the power minus one will give you positive value. Now, minus one to the power one will give you minus one. Minus one to the power three will give you minus two, so, meaning that the next one should be minus. Then minus one to the power two will give you plus. So that is why here is plus. So if you check now, you say, we say here is zero, one, two. So a two here is positive. So what we're going to do is that that means for the positive sign, you have minus 1 to the power n. Let me make that place neater. So, that means you have minus 1 to the power n. So, this is the n term. I haven't gotten the n term. We can now say sine x is equal to the summation to inf at to infinity from n equal to zero. Then now you are summing this. Two n plus one factorial so which is this so now that means that what we're saying that we are summing the first term if you sum the first you look, assume you're doing first term summation now if you say here is zero here will be plus here x so there is two power two times zero plus one so we have x to the power one divide by here is zero so here will be one one factorial which is the same thing as what is here so you now some add you now add another term again you're going to get the second one no so the the, the second term yeah if you put one here you have minus one if you put one here you have x raised to power three if you put one here you have three factorial which is the same thing here so here this look at the minus so now the second one you put two here that is minus one to the power two you have positive value if you put two here two times two is four plus one five two times two four plus one five so five factorial so when you look you see it's the same thing here so we have proved it so you just assume this sign means summation sign so starting from zero to infinity so that is it so we have finalized it please if you like this video please click the like button and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so that anytime i make new videos you will be the first to see it 
and also please comment in the comment section and um, also share the video thank you